look at a few quick examples of changing fractions to decimals where the denominators are multiples of 10. In the first one, we have 3 tenths. So when we read that, we actually call it 3 tenths. And if we look at our place values, we do have a tenths place value. It's the number that comes after the decimal. And we're just saying we have three of those, three tenths. So we can put a three here. Our decimal would be here. And we would have zero ones. So we can write three tenths as a fraction. We can write it in words. I could write that out as T-H-R-E-E. -E, and I can also say three tenths. They are all equivalent. In the second example, we have 1 20th. We do not have a 20th place value, but we could take this fraction and write it as an equivalent fraction where the denominator is a multiple of 10. So we have multiple options. Um, we couldn't half them as we'd have a 0 0.5 or half a tenth. So what we would do is multiply 20 by 5 will give us a denominator of 100. We're going to do the same thing to the numerator. We're going to multiply it by 5, and we get an equivalent fraction of 5 hundredths. Now, if I read 5 hundredths, 5 hundredths, we have a hundredths place value. So all I have to do is look at my place value chart. Okay, my decimal's here. I don't have any tenths. If I'm talking about having five hundredths, I have no tenths, but I have five hundredths, zero, ones, or units. So if I was going to write one twentieth, it's the same as saying five hundredths, and I could write that as five hundredths, five in the hundredths place value. So zero decimal zero five would be my decimal number representation of one twentieth. For the last example here, maybe you want to pause the video and try it on your own. We're looking at 7 250ths. 7 250ths. So we're going to look at writing it as a equivalent fraction where the denominator is a multiple of 10. So I know that if I have four groups of 250, it would give me 1,000. So I'm just multiplying this by four. Whatever I do to the bottom, I'm going to do to the top. So seven fours are 28. So an equivalent fraction of seven 250ths is 28 thousandths. So I could write that out. 28 thousandths. And I'm going to write it exactly the way I'm saying it, 28 thousandths. Now, this one, a little bit trickier. Um, we have 28 thousandths. So if I'm going to go over here and say, okay, my decimal is here, 28 thousandths. I have zero tenths, but I've got to try and put in my thousandths place value, I have to have 28 of these. If I have 28 thousandths, it's the same as having eight thousandths, and then the other 20 thousandths make up two hundredths. So I was going to write 28 in this place value. I can't write both digits in the same place value, so I have to use the eight here. And the other 20 thousandths, I'm able to make two groups of hundredths, so I'm trading them in. So if I was going to write 28 thousandths, I would write it as 0.028, and I would read it as 28 thousandths.